Uh, the team of Charizard. That was a great one there. Shame we never got that artwork of Welder. No shame we never get anything. And all those other full arts we've been missing. But anyway, I'm rambling. Charizard, Roaring Resolve, Continuous Blaze Ball. I love this Charizard. This is like my favorite Charizard. Even more so than the Leon. This was a great one. Just the... You know, the deck was just really good. The amount of getting energy onto them, so amazing. And we're going to try it out one last time before we say goodbye to this amazing Charizard. So you saw the cute little Charmander there, the Charmeleon, at least one of. He trained GX as sort of a backup, you know, finisher type of stuff, uh, something in case we need it. Volcanian, just one in case we go second and we get him, but whatnot. And then, of course, the Tino Jirachi teaming up. Ah, team up? We're going to miss this Jirachi, too, with the Stellar Wish. Like the old days with Team Up. Team Up Jirachi and Team Up Charizard together making a nice deck. Mew for the Bench Barrier. Mew 2 for Mind Power. There's going to be a lot of cards rotating out. It's a good card. And uh, Scoop Up, you can reuse that Mew 2 over and over again. Or to re get out, you know, stuff from the active. Or to reuse and do stuff with the Jirachis. But also with that awesome Mew 2. My report to reuse and get back those other uh, supporters that you need. The Dead AGX for a Dead A change, of course. And Oracorio GX for a Dance of a Tribute. Just a lot of draw here. We have Energy Recyclers. We're going to go through a lot of energy because our boys are most likely going to get knocked out. We need to get those back in. Ordinary Rod, I have two because, as you can see, I only have three copies of that Charizard. Instead of four, so we're going to need to shuffle back those Charizards back in again. And any Fallen Charmanders, and of course, Energy if we need to, because we're going to be getting Energy out of the deck pretty quick, thanks to the Ron Resolve, and of course, with uh, Giant Hearth and uh, Welder Shenanigans. And you see all their stuff there, we got lots of switching. We need to switch out a lot. Rare Candies, of course, to get the Charizards out. Of course, Quick Balls, as I said, Giant Hearth. We don't need... To worry about too much with it though because he accelerates energy from the deck himself boss and of course welder we're gonna miss you our sweaty fiery waifu card <laughs> uh, and then of course uh 12 fire energy should be enough with all the recycling welder attach out you can do a lot of damage with this this guy you welder you use the fire resolve and you attach for the turn you're doing what? That's like 230. And then if you did it from the turn previously before it evolves on the next turn, you're doing 280. You're saying goodbye to ADP. So this Charizard is an amazing Charizard. I love it. Let's get into some battles here. Starting off, again, I love that coin. He looks like a like, Bidoof portrait of a Pokemon. You know, I just, <laughs> the way he's looking, it looks like that. I am obsessed with that pose on that coin it's just hilarious like he's some great epic pokemon one you know i mean sorry but i mean i just love the odd love for this guy i support the odd love for bidoof more than the the hype over everything charizard but i have to admit i love this charizard i like the leon one there there'll be a deck with both of them when we have welder week a week of saying goodbye we had mewtwo mew gx week we got kind of a Porygon Z week that happened, is happening, just a few decks. And then, of course, we're going to have a, just, you know, because they're going to be gone. I'll tell you now, we'll have a Welder week, dedicated to Welder, a Fairy Farewell week, saying goodbye to the Fairy Pokemon, some with five awesome Fairy decks that we can still play. And, of course, on the days before in September, I'll have a Bye Bye week. Uh, playing some of the best, you know, Picaram, Rushy's Art again, Mewtwo Mew, all that good stuff once, you know, they're rotated out. Let's see what we got here. Uh, best option there, I guess, is that. Off to another great start, I can tell you that much. We're going to have to say goodbye to all that. I'll put that there. It's fine, we can get the Wilder back, and we only have, obviously, three more copies if they're in the deck. Let's shuffle those back in, get ourselves a Chamenda. Get ourselves another Chamenda. Do that. Get those back, get two fire energy, and uh 
Like I said, we'll do that, and we have ourselves something for the next turn. Whew. So, in a way, it's kind of worth it. I think we got to... Everything's pretty much there. We have two Charmander in play. Uh, the Mew wasn't really necessary, but... I, I'm like, I'm worried. I'm like, we need something. We have a lot of fire energy in there already, so we'll be drawing the stuff to shuffle back in. But that 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 kind of sucks because all we needed was what we have there. So what can we do with this Charmander? We can we can re run resolve, get two more on there, welder. You know we'll have enough to take out. Obviously we'll have enough to take out this Eternatus before it becomes a Vmax, which would be ideal. But then we have to get the Dirachi. Off of the active of sport, which is always fun, and of course I have the rare candy. So I guess I'm going to be banking the main one. We'll do one thirty. We'll do two thirty. One more attachment will be enough. Oh, you love it. So what we're going to have to do is, well, get that welder back. Get a few more fire energy, and we'll get three left in the deck. Start spreading on the other one, so unfortunately, no, he ain't going to be one shot. And do that, and wait again for next turn. Yay, great start, right? I, I still think we'll be okay. I hope, or at least close enough to okay, but it does, it does suck that we, we could have, oh no, not the Charmander of two, it's fine, um, they don't like that Mewtwo, for whatever reasons, I mean, if they've seen me reuse them twice, I'll probably be using them again, so, uh, I don't see him as a threat, Quite honestly. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hey, Welder! Who'd have thunk it, right? I mean, they can have that for now. It's just for no healing. It doesn't really do anything for healing. Alright, we need Charizard right now. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. I don't know. All right, Charizard, where are you? There we go. They can do a little something, I guess. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, might as well get the last of our energy. Oh, boy. Yeah. And uh, there we go. 280, so close. If anything, we are going to be knocking that guy out. And I guess that's all that matters. Unfortunately, he's at what? 370. <sighs> We're going to need... I mean, now they just need two bosses of the win, which is pretty much how they're going to do it, because that's how these decks only win, basically. There we go. <laughs> and get back two of a lot of energy that we desperately need. Stellar Wish. Let's see what we get. There we go. Or Coriol's going to fetch us. All right. Good. We have stuff we can discard. We don't need... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we don't need you anymore. We don't need you. Now here's uh, the thing. Now here's the thing. What we can do is that and I'm thinking I mean no matter what we're in a bit of a pickle because I, I need to knock him out and I feel like waiting a turn at least play till the end 
Like I said, we whiffed a lot, and it just really kind of sucks, but we have no choice. But this will be just enough. Get rid of the Drache, put you out there, put another Charmander out. And, yeah, put another Charmander out, and because we have nothing, we'll just, as usual, see, it was a waste of a ping, wasn't it? We'll have to just do that for now. And we got something. At least we knocked out him. We knocked out Eternatus. We knocked out the big guy. Takes three prizes. And at least it's something, right? Just not being able to find that damn Charizard. It's like, really? No Charizard. Let's, in our turn, no Charizard. Hey, we finally got a Charizard. Uh, after all the searching, digging. If it wasn't for that, I feel like... We'd have maybe a better chance, but we lost at least two turns there. One, not being able to knock that thing out before it evolved, because we didn't get Charizard. And then the next turn, still not finding the Charizard. <sighs> so, otherwise, a decent matchup. I mean, I mean, they're going to win knocking up this guy, because they always get it. I play Eternatus, and remember, folks, again, I have more than... Four cards in my hand. That's a big, uh, that's a big no-no in this game. <laughs> so Charizard put up a good fight, and I'm pretty happy with it. <sighs> because all they need is a boss. Like we could do it if you just know they're gonna have a boss. They always have a boss. That's like the cheap. That's the, that's that cheap way of winning, and they always have it. I mean, right now, I mean, woo! Let's do that. Let's get back all oh, that beautiful energy. This new animation is... Slows the game down, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a lot. Like, instead of just throwing it in there. Now we gotta watch it do that. Let's see what we got. Mmm... I mean, close. Like I said, close. Look at that. Come on. But I mean, next turn it doesn't matter because they're just going to boss. So, at least show the fierceness that is this deck. Uh, we had something good going. We could have done it if we only had, if we didn't, if we just had one of those two turns where we didn't get anything. Because we they'd be only at three or whatever, and we we would have lucked out. But no luck enough for us because they're going to have boss. It's the only way to win. So, but look at all that damage. Amazing. So, good job, Charizard. You did well. Look at that deck there. All that energy. We have at least... Yeah, they're shuffling the back in there. You know they're going to get it. They always do. That painting does nothing. I don't see the point of it. I know you can, but there's just no point to it. So, we're already going to... Look, I'm already ready for it. I Because you know that's gonna, they're going to get it. And hooray, we did great. If it wasn't for that, we would have kicked their butt. But they look out with a uh, boss, as always, which is the only way a lot of times these type of decks can win. No skill when all you can do is just boss your way into a win. Which is why... Uh, goodbye, ADP. Don't let the door hit you on the way out there. <laughs> but we did a very good job. If it wasn't for those two, I think we would have won that. But it just shows you how good that card is. I love that Roaring Resolve, and I like just to be able to recycle Reuse's energies in there. <sighs> we start off with Heatran GX, which is fine. Can always, you know, bring him back, and then he uses ability either way, and so it's all good. I mean, it's all we have right now. And what kind of sucks is, hopefully we can get another Pokemon, because, my god, oh, we have Rare Candy and Charizard. Mm. 
If only we can just get another Pokemon, I'd be happy just because then we can communicate and everything. Another Pokemon. Give us another Pokemon so we can communicate. I can get Charmander and then be able to rare candy Charizard right away. Boom. That will be great. Yes, monster. Beautiful. All right, we're going to... Cool. I don't think we need that for that either, so... Nice. Now, see, now that's a nice setup if we can hold it. <laughs> Charmander. And... I, I really want to be greedy and get uh, that to Dene, but then we'll lose it. I honestly think the best thing is just, I mean, we have Welder. I was thinking Jirachi in case we need it, but no. The best thing to do is do that, hold that, we're good to go. And we're going against one of my favorite decks. And by that, I mean it's not. And by that, I mean I love the deck. It's really good. I just hate going against it because it's like playing... And expanded and stuff like that. And like the legacy stuff there. Where you see people constantly, you know, take long turns. Because they constantly ultra ball execute. Do something else with the execute. Do something. I mean, it just takes forever for the turns to go through. And this is just, it's so boring. Waiting for them to get their turn done. Especially if it's a player that's like super slow with it. It's like, oh, oh come on. <laughs> now you might think I'm crazy, but... No, I'm not. I might as well, right, thin the deck out a little bit. With all the stuff they are doing, I don't think they're going to be able to boss out the Charizard. What we're going to do is do that. We'll be ready. And we're just going to do that because he's 50 HP. The, I mean, we don't need to worry about. Here, I'm gonna go ahead. Don't need to worry about doing too much with Heatran. Because, I mean, the GX is kind of meaningless. When Charizard, like right now, just doing his basic 130 is all we need. And uh, Heatran GX's basic 130 is basically. <laughs> Basic, I'm talking about, I'm saying basic and basically a lot. Uh, love the artwork on that little guy. Is all we're going to need. So what's good about this matchup is we really don't have to throw a lot of energy. We can spread the energy around and we're good. Like we wouldn't have to worry about Roar and Resolve as much since we have Welder. And then that gives us at least... That little bit of HP that they have to go through to knock out our Charizards. Like right now, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, they are, I mean, they're going to need a lot to take out that Heatran. Because they need to have the energy, the Malamar, and the switching card. And then five cards... To shuffle back in to knock out this Heatran. I don't see that happening. Considering, if I recall, they've already played their Karina. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like right here, I'm like, I thought you make, I thought you did your make do's already. Huh. Like I said, it's just, wow, it takes so long for this turn to go. But what what's really interesting about this deck is they'll luck, probably luck out. I mean, I just, I swore they did this already. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's like, really? Oh my gosh. So the, every card in their hand, uh, they're going to need the Malamar, a Switch, and then one more card in hand to, oh my gosh, okay. So they'll need the Malamar and Switch, yeah. Uh, since we took the first prize, and we'll be taking the next prize... What's what get what's uh, important with this type of matchup is they're both pretty much single prize games. As long as we stay ahead, like we're we've taken two prizes already. 
They haven't even taken one. So we're ahead of the game, and that's what's important with these type of matches. As long as we keep every turn, you know, we go down to three, down to two, down to one, down to zero. And our next four turns, as long as we keep on knocking something out, we'll be good. Because we'll sh we should be ahead. Because let's say they boss out our Heatran. They go down the four, but then we'll go down the three before they go down the three. See what I'm saying? So as long as we keep hitting stuff, we should be good to go. We just need, you know, obviously to get another Charizard to play. Or we can just Welder onto Heatran, which is a possibility. Again, I love this deck. At first, I was I was on board with a couple other people. So they're going, I just don't see how this deck, eh, I don't know. But, I mean, it's amazing how freaking easy it is to constantly shuffle in and get back enough to do damage i mean i've had it where i've done it and i'm on the other end of it so obviously when i do it i'm a, i'm happy when it's on the other end it's like no you lucked out you suck <laughs> where it's like you're gonna need nine cards to get rid of in order to knock my guy out and in that turn hey look i have nine i'm like no <laughs> plus i like the build where it's like, the more you do, and you just, pretty much all you're going to have left is nothing but the Rapid Strike, so you're good to go every time you draw. Very wise, very good. That's what I like with the, the Sinchinos and stuff, where you can just discard, like, okay, you played it, and then you can discard anything that you don't, that is not necessary, and then all you're going to have left is Rapid Strike. So every time you draw your big hand, it's always going to be a lot of damage. So, I don't know. I played the, what was it? The one I played, I think, had the Intellium build, so I might want to try this Enchino build. I mean, they need what? 130? They got it. I mean, they got it. Uh, there's a long pause here because, like I said, what I hate about decks like this is it takes forever. It's like, uh... Mad Party, you know, those ones there, where it's like, oh, I'm gonna walk away... Go do something while they're taking their turn to set up and do everything. And that's where my pause was kind of for there for a second because I walked away to get a drink. And it's like, oh yeah. But look at that. We're doing good. I love it. Do both. Get both them back. <laughs> and both are fire engine back. So we're doing real good here. I'm pretty sure I can call it early. And, uh, we got this. I mean, it's a shame to lose that welder, but we have other welders. <sighs> of course. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because the next turn, if I need to, I can just manually put on there, but instead I decide to give it to the Charmander, thinking I'm going to get a rare candy. Whatever. That 130 is just enough to knock out these Malamars, and we're good. Oh, I, and we got the rare candy, so there we go. I don't need to worry about them. Now they have to boss it out. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So I'm A-OK -okay with it. Uh, I'm liking where this is going because they need to get another Inke out. <clears throat> or they're going to be behind a turn. And I there is one boss in here. We could always just win by knocking out the Inke or going for the Oracorio and then... Either way, we got this. Ooh. Ooh, see? It's not good. I love that little angry face the most. It, it always just looks so silly. Do that to you. Even if it's just the one, it's worth it. <laughs> then we're just good to go. Put them on him. We're just good to go. Boom, and then I love the little angry face, and I know because they just couldn't do it next turn, so I'm going to give them a sad face like, sorry, I know it sucks. <laughs> but yes, I'm going to miss the team-up Charizard with the Roar and Resolve and the Continuous Blaze Ball. Very good card, very fun deck. I enjoyed that one. This oh, it's also the one that came out the same time, the Needle Queen, right? Both amazing cards, both amazing decks, 
and I will be revisiting one last time. You can see a video on it. Or Beetle VMAX with that team up Needle Queen. And uh, those decks had some good stuff. We had this, the Charizard, the Pidgeotos, and the Needle Queens. Great stuff. I remember getting those the first day. Me and my, I'm like, get my best buddy. It's like, okay, we're going to just open up. You play one, I play the other one. Just have fun with it. So it's going to be missed come rotation. And uh, Team of Charizard, I think, is my favorite of the Charizards. And you can see how much damage this guy can do. And it's just the, the ability to be able to search your deck for the energies is simply amazing. Very, 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 very simply amazing. <laughs> and as you can see, we have enough Pokemon in gear. We have two attackers ready to go no matter what happens. They cannot do enough damage in time, so we won. So farewell, Team Up Charizard. I hope you guys liked it. Try the deck out while you can. Uh, give this video a big old thumbs up. Would be awesome if you did. Comment, that'd be awesome too. And subscribe, that'd be even more awesome. Uh, just keep appreciating the deck and uh, Pokemon. And yeah, see you next time. <laughs> this has been... Professor... Tissajou.